Good morning, everybody. It's like, hold on. I haven't watched Troubles. It's 5.20 in the morning. I usually get up about this time. Um, sometimes a little earlier. I like to uh, get up before the family gets up. I like to try to get a workout in. Read every day. Doesn't always happen, but I try to make this my morning routine. Been drinking AG1 for, I don't know, about a month now. Uh, pretty good stuff. I got the little packets. Not bad. What I'm most excited about today is uh, we have, uh, my wife and I have our own small business. We make natural skincare products. And we've made four uh, new arm deodorant smells. So I want to try them out. I'll put them to the test, uh, do a workout in it, see how it holds up with, with sweat. Uh, I live in Texas, so it's on the beach, uh, on the Gulf, near the Houston area. It's hot as hell, so it's usually really humid around this time. Um, usually you can get work up a pretty good sweat. So let me show you what it looks like. Uh, this is the uh, tallow arm deodorant that we have. So this one is, uh, this one's called Zesty. My wife came up with this one. It's a uh, tallow based arm deodorant. And uh, my wife came up with the name, but I came up with the uh, scents. But anyway, it's made with grass fed tallow, organic beeswax, arrowroot powder, Caroline clay tea tree essential oil and lemongrass essential oil and uh, the tea tree and lemongrass essential oils are supposed to be the best essential oils for like, combating body odor and killing body odor causing bacteria and uh, the clay and arrowroot powder are uh, natural ingredients that help absorb sweat so, um, and the organic beeswax is, is made, uh, is, is included to, you know, add consistency and whatnot. And then, uh, you know, the base of the, of the, uh, deodorant is, uh, is grass fed, grass finished tallow. So we called this one zesty. We have a couple more, but this is the one that we've re most recently made and I want to try out. So, um, you know, natural deodorants are, are really a kind of. A different thing from conventional deodorants because conventional uh, deodorants are made with uh, uh, aluminum and propylene glycol and like these harsh ingredients that essentially block your pores and keep you from sweating so like the number one question is does your deodorant work and I think that depends on what your definition of work is like what is your goal? If your goal is to um, move away from chemically enhanced products, I think this is a good a good option. Um, any natural tallow or natural ingredient based product deodorant is better than aluminum and parabens and synthetic fragrances and stuff like that. So anyway, I want to try it today. I've got my own little side one, doesn't have a label, but it is zesty. Pretty much goes on smooth. Probably can't really see it right now. That smells really good. So, it goes on relatively clear I don't know if you can really see it but it smells it smells really good it's uh again it's called the uh the zesty I don't know if you can I'll see you can see that there you go yeah it's called it's called zesty and our our company's called uh signature touch so I'm gonna finish up my my AG1 here read my book and then uh take you out through a workout I'm done with my daily reading, 
if you are uh, looking for a good book on soil health and uh, agriculture as a whole, uh, What Your Food Ate by uh, Dr. Uh, David Montgomery and Ann Bickle. It's a husband and wife. I read their first book that they put out. It's called, uh, dang, what is it called? Ooh, it's called The Hidden Half of Nature. It's kind of similar, but a little bit more introductory into soil health. This one's a little bit, I would say a little bit more advanced, but it's a really good book. So what your food ate, check it out. All right, so now I'm going to get my pre-workout ready. And what I like to use is uh, a pre-workout by a company called BCN Supplements. You can see that. They have a couple of different f flavors available. I think they have three. Um, but the one I'm going to use today is the uh, is the Pink Starburst. Pretty good. It's uh, made with all natural ingredients. Almost done with my uh, pre-workout, and uh, the arms are smelling pretty good. So it'll be a test. I'm gonna try to go for about an hour, uh, a little longer. I like to go about 45 minutes, I guess. Today is kind of a push day, so I'll do some chest, shoulders. Probably, I did biceps yesterday, so I'll probably do some triceps today. Um, I'll do some calories on the air bike. Um, and I'll try to really get a good sweat here. So the idea is I wanna, I wanna break a sweat and then I wanna go through my first few meetings. I mo mostly work from home, so I wanna try to, I don't know, at least go through, get to like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. before taking a shower. Um, and see what my armpit smell like. I feel like that's a good test for an arm deodorant. Um, breaking a sweat, getting sweaty, letting that sweat just kind of like stick in your armpits and then giving it a few hours and see what it smells like. I think that's like a fair test for an arm deodorant because ideally you would take a shower after working out and then put on deodorant. I don't think that's a good test though. Because then you're not really sweating. Unless you're a profuse sweater. Just throughout the day. I don't know. Maybe if you're a really heavy sweater. You probably need aluminum to block your sweat. Um, but I feel like going through a workout. Breaking a sweat. Getting stinky. Getting then giving a few hours afterwards. I think that's a really good test for a natural deodorant. make an hour I did 40 or uh, 56 minutes and uh, let's see how many calories I burned 56 minutes did a push day uh, almost 500 calories I did 446 uh, calories in uh, 56 minutes so pretty good pretty good workout like I said it's 
I live on the Gulf Coast and it's hot as shit out here. But uh, I'm sweating. I don't know if you can see how much I'm sweating, but I'm sweating my my butt off, and I still smell the living grass and the tea tree oil. So still there. It's gonna be an interesting test to see about test it out, smell my armpits. It's really weird that I'm smelling my armpits too, but I think this would be a good test uh, in the next couple of hours. I uh, have meetings starting in 30 minutes. So I'll get through the first few meetings of the day and then uh, check back in. I'm gonna go make my uh, protein shake and get the kids ready for school. See you in a little bit. I can never beat the kids before they get up in the morning. The earlier they get up, it's hard to start working out. Like, who really likes working out at freaking 5 o'clock in the morning? But that's kind of what I'm going to have to get to. So for the protein shake, just normal protein. I put creatine in there, and then I also have been taking BCNs. Uh, I don't know if it's Clement and Clear, but BCNs Collagen. Loads of benefits. The muscles, the skin, everything. Add that in there. Pretty consistent with it. I like to uh, take it after the workout. Normal protein, whatever's on sale. I'll try to go for the cleanest I can find and then create my hydrate. So, 7.22, I have eight minutes before my meeting starts. We'll chug this and check back in here a little bit. All right done with the early morning meetings and it's been about six and a half almost seven hours since i've put on the deodorant this morning around 5 30. i guess it was about 5 30 and uh the armpits still smell pretty darn good so my shirt smells like like sweat but the armpits Definitely not as strong as when I first put it on, but the lemongrass is definitely present. I still smell a little bit of the tea tree oil, but mostly the lemongrass. Lemongrass is pretty, uh, I would describe the scent as a earthy, woodsy, fruity smell. It's probably a bad example, somewhere around there. But anyway, if you're looking for uh, I don't know if you want to shop for uh, natural deodorants. I think uh, this is a good option. Give us a shot. Uh, check us out on our, our website. Our website is Our Signature Touch. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.